What's up guys? I'm Candid Crandall and today I am talking about Pretty Little Liars Season 4, Episode 16, Close Encounters. <laughs> As per usual, if you have not yet seen the episode and you're planning on watching it and you don't want things spoiled for you, stop now, pause, wait till you've seen the episode and come back and watch it. It's okay, you don't have to watch it right away, you can take your time, it'll be here, I promise. For those of you wondering where Jason De Laurentiis has been, apparently he's in rehab after getting arrested for starting a fight in a bar? According to Peter Hastings, who, let's face it, does not have the best track record for honesty ever. That's the story, and he's sticking to it. Ezra says he's going to meet a college friend named Curtis who plays lacrosse. Why? He says he's got to go all the way to Philly to meet up with him. Why? I just don't trust anything that Ezra Fitz does anymore, but I still love him and Aria together, and I'm so ashamed. Not ashamed enough to not be rooting for Ezra. Wah, wah. Ezra is jealous of Jake who's texting Aria and Aria's like, no, I'm gonna talk to him, I'm gonna end things. Ezra looks all surprised and taken aback and I'm like, you manipulated this whole thing. You knew it was going to work out in your favor. You always do. Ezra, if that is even your real name or if you're even Ezra Fitz or if you're his evil twin, I don't even know. But if somebody's got a twin, I am hoping for Ezra. Maybe it's been since he got that haircut for homecoming. There was no haircut. It's just the evil twin who happens to have shorter hair than Ezra. And long-haired Ezra is sitting in that cellar in the cabin. Boom. I know that there is a ton of stuff going on with Hannah and Caleb and Travis. And I'm going to be so honest. Shauna says that she grew up next to Allie's grandparents in Georgia. What? And apparently Shauna is there in Rosewood to find out who tried to kill Allie. The reason that Shauna has been getting so close to Jenna is because she's on Allie's list of people who she thinks might have killed her. Allison wants to meet Emily, just Emily alone. Why? And why are we trusting Shauna, who has been nothing but sketchy this whole time? Toby's family is getting offered a settlement from Radley over his mother's wrongful death. Spencer looks through her dad's briefcase and finds out that Jessica De Laurentiis is on the board at Radley. Why on earth is Jessica De Laurentiis on the board? I feel like there's some connection between the De Laurentiis family and Radley, and I don't know what it is, but even Shauna said that she knew Allie was alive ever since Mona went to Radley. What did she find in there? We see Ezra, who's supposed to be in Philly, yelling at a blonde in a black car. It looks to me an awful lot like Cece Drake. Or maybe Cece Drake has a twin, but it looked like Cece Drake. That's all I'm saying. He was so angry at her, and she like wouldn't look at him when he was talking to her. It hits her car. It freaked me out, and Jake is the one who saw it, and he tells Arya about it, and Arya freaking confronts Ezra. Great scene. Great, great, great scene. We see Arya kind of getting like up the courage to ask him some questions, and then he just like has something. Oh, it was Maggie's lawyer. Oh, I'm going through all this stuff with Maggie and Malcolm. Oh, there is like a split second where he's just standing there and like he doesn't let her see him sweat, and it's scary. But I still like him and I want to believe that he really loves Arya, but I don't know. Allie wants Emily to help her find A so that she can come home. She thinks that A is the person who's threatening her, but she doesn't know who A is. Jake is getting ready for his next competition. He's punching a guy and probably picturing Ezra's face. And then he goes to kick his lucky punching bag that has duct tape all over it. And his foot gets stabbed and he goes over to the punching bag and he opens up the duct tape and it's a bunch of friggin' knives, like more than five, stuck into this hollowed out portion of the punching bag, covered up by duct tape, but like sticking out enough so that if he hits it or kicks it, he's gonna get stabbed? Gotta be Ezra. 
Like, who else would that be? It has to be Ezra, and I feel like he's crossed a massive line. Up until this point, the stuff that he has done has been creepy, weird, sketchy, and all of that stuff, but he hasn't been violent until this episode, really. Knives in Jake's punching bag. You got the girl, dude. Chill. I've never felt more conflicted about an Ezria makeout session. I want to be happy about this. This should be like really cute, but it's really not because I know that he just put knives in someone's punching bag. Someone is bleeding on a dojo floor while he is licking whipped cream off of Arya's face. What? What is happening here? Let me know down in the comments some of your Pretty Little Liars theories. I would love to discuss them with you. If you don't already, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Blogspot, and Instagram. Username, Candid Crandall. I put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday on my channel, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again on Tuesday. Bye!